how many corrupt leaders are too many? Don't we have enough of them? Power dynamics are present in our everyday interactions. And by power, I mean the influence and control that one can exert over the others. Power in organizational settings can entail to coordination, to responsibility and sacrifice, but it can also lead to, but it can also lead to abuse, opportunistic behavior, and corruption. Research also shows that in organization, power can lead to immoral behavior, but depending on the individual and the characteristic of the situation, it can also lead to moral behavior. So during my PhD, I asked myself, when do power holders get engaged to more bright side of power rather than the, the dark side of it? So I tried to answer these questions. Does power in general corrupt? And do individual differences play a role? To test these things in an experiment, I needed to find a way to manipulate power. These are the, the techniques that researchers have been using to manipulate power, to make another person feel powerful. One technique is asking your participants to recall a memory that they have felt powerful in, and they have to write an essay about it. The next technique is to basically ask them to play the role of the powerful person. Both of these techniques are problematic. Why? First of all, recalling a situation when you have power in it or play the role of a powerful person could be different from experiencing real power real time. Second reason, those techniques both engender demand effect. Demand effect happens when the participants in your study guesses about the aim of the study. The aim of the study becomes obvious for them and they behave in accordance to what they should behave and what they are expected to rather than they show the real power. To resolve these issues, I have to come up with a manipulation on my own. The manipulation is this. You ask people to come to the lab in large groups and they come to the lab, they were, they, they were, they're gonna be assigned to the role of leader and follower. The leaders will be given an amount of money that they can distribute among the followers. We manipulated the power of the leader by the number of the followers they had and the amount of control they had over this distribution decision. So everybody in this game is playing with real money. In the next stage, we measured unethical behavior of the leader by facing the leader with a new follower and the leader had the opportunity to steal from this new follower. Before that, we looked at three dark individual characteristics of the leaders, narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. Machiavellianism refers to the use of manipulation, deceit, and a moral viewpoints to get the control of the situation. For a Machiavellian, the ends justifies the mean. For narcissism, you know, you know them by a strong egocentricity, self-confidence, and self-importance. For psychopathy, it is associated to lack of empathy, lack of anxiety, and unwillingness to, to take the blame. Assessing these three characteristics, we looked at the unethical behavior of the leader meaning how much they stole from their followers and the tendency to commit to stealing behavior. So I have a question from you. Do you have any idea how many of the leaders stole from their followers? Give me wild guesses, percentages. Too optimistic. <laughs> More than 60% of the leaders stole from their followers. But what we've seen in our research is that it's not the power that's, that corrupts, but it's actually the individual differences. 
you can see that Machiavellianism explain the amount that the leader stole from the followers, the leader gain. One unit increase in Machiavellianism score increases the leader gain by almost 41%. We also saw that narcissism interact with power explaining the unethical behavior of the leaders. Here you can see the narcissism score, and here is the probability for a, for a leader to steal. For a low power leader, there is not much difference. But when you see the high power leader, you can see that narcissism enhances the tendency to steal. So, in sum, my research shows the revealing effect of power. Those who have the tendency to exploit and to manipulate others when they are appointed to high power positions, they exploit more and they get engaged into unethical behavior more often. So these results show that we have to pay attention to these dark personality traits in our choices of who we vote for, who we select as leaders, and who we trust. Because as you know, it is hard to give unlimited power to limited minds. Thank you.